Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Mac Handbrake Hijack. If you're a Mac user, you may have heard of the program Handbrake. This is basically a video conversion program where you can take any video and convert it to a different type of video. And it's very popular for video editors since it is free. In any case, this week the Handbrake developers warned that one of their Handbrake distribution servers, one of the Mirror servers, was hijacked. And and the Handbrake installer was Trojaned and is actually delivering a malicious OS X or Mac virus. Basically, if you downloaded Handbrake between May 2nd and May 6th, you may have been infected with the OSX Proton malware, which is a Mac Trojan that gives an attacker basically full control of your computer. The attacker can run any program as root, they can a VNC or, or remote control your desktop, they can access your keychain passwords, uh, they can do really anything you could do on that computer. Now the good news, if there is any, is the fact that only one of the two Mir servers was infected with this Trojan version of Handbrake. That means if you downloaded it from a distribution server, you only have a 50-50 chance of being affected. In fact, by the way, if you already have Handbrake and you use the built-in update mechanism, you are not affected by this attack. The built-in mechanism actually downloads the update directly and checks the hash to make sure that you have the right version of the program before installing it. That said, if you're worried that you might have installed the bad version of Handbrake within the past few days, you can actually run the OS X Activity Monitor and look for a process called Activity Agent. If you have that process, you probably have this particular malware. In any case, if you're a Mac user, you're going to want to check the other references in the blog post associated with this video. Anyway, it's an interesting story, especially for Mac users that use Handbrake. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.